his gigantic entrance. Now it's back at 880 does 215. Brohemoth went in there with Zeke Mercer. Hi, it's me again. And a Wait, rematch what? tomorrow, but here comes Amanda. Good news for me. Bad news for you. I forgot last week. You're not only facing Paris, but you're also facing hit their music. Wait, what? Boys, boys, boys! Boys! Everybody needs a friend. I didn't see this joker coming. Look at these two. Oh, no. Buddies Incorporated is here to help the melanated star seed slay the Gigabyte Grizzly oh. because everybody needs a friend. So Are you I guess, kidding me? I guess Amanda had an idea in her pocket, so this seems to be now a three-on-one matchup. For those unfamiliar, some guy named John, Joe Murphy, they make up Buddies Incorporated. And John has his own microphone that Bluetooth connects to the speaker. Oh! Oh, here we go! Oh, goodness! The well, Humphrey he is not wasting any time in taking these three out. Big... Look at this! Big oh. lariats to everyone is catching them! Oh! And the Gigabyte Grizzly is always hungry. Has that match against Zeke, wants to end poor Zeke's life. Oh, the big corner, forearm, corner, corner again. Three corners for the Gigabyte Grizzly. Whether it's one on one, one on two, one on three, one on a million, Brohemoth is going to bring it. And right now, Mr. Hair in a bun, not looking so hot, getting thrown around by Brohemoth. Oh. Absolutely not. Buddies Incorporated seems to be the first victim I of can, the Gigabyte Grizzly. I can watch John being thrown around all night, Tatiana. I can watch it all night. I hate that guy. Oh, so oh. can I. Last we saw, Buddies Incorporated was against myself and Nick's Wild. And, and, happened. and they were unsuccessful. Let's see if their luck turns in with Paris Sahara in their corner. But so far, it is not looking great yeah. for any of them. Yeah, Wildflower's beating the heck out of Buddies Incorporated. That was that was something I appreciated as well. Oh, Bro. looking for that MMD possibly. Oh. oh no. Some guy named John getting a hold of Rohima's leg, oh. holding him in place for Paris to to get a big kick in. Well, sure, if you're gonna attack him three on one, he might be ready for it, but you're gonna, I mean, this is a gang fight here. Strength in numbers. The unfortunate truth is more times than not, the numbers game will catch up to you no matter what size you are. And unfortunately, that's what's happened to Brohemoth here. Paris Sahara leading the charge in tormenting Brohemoth. That's but a good word to put it, Tatiana. They're just tormenting Brohemoth. And, and Zeke Mercer and the Matriarchy have been doing this for months. Oh. Sahara with a choke on the ropes and oh, Maslow! Amanda getting involved in choking Bro out too. The ringleader of the tormentors here, the princess of 880, Amanda Maslow, concocted this plan for the matriarchy to beat down Brohemoth. I know Aleo has been in the side of Brohemoth before, but Aleo has already been in action tonight. So I don't know that Aleo is available right now to be in the corner of Brohemoth. And here comes the gentrifier, some guy named John. And of course, he's just going to tag himself right back out. As is, per, as is per usual of some guy named John. But knowing Brohemoth, oh. the man is very confident in his size and his ability to toss his opponents around. It's very possible he told Aleo to just stay out of his way. Oh, the athleticism Not and the ability of Paris never ceases to surprise me because what she's capable of on the surface, she's more capable below the surface. She's evil. I used to be good friends with Paris, but not how she's acting these days. These days, we've seen a completely different side to Paris Sahara, but one thing has not changed, and you're right, it's her athletic ability. Yep. It's been nothing short of impressive since she began. Oh. And of course, Rohimoth probably told his, told his compatriots to stay back, not knowing what was coming, but... Oh, and some guy named John grabbing the hand of Brohemoth to prevent a big lariat. Oh, right oh, in the eyes. Murphy eye-raking. These the, freaks. It's a numbers game again, getting in the way. And Tupac family, you could grab him. You could punch him. Go ahead. 
Oh, and a very disrespectful bounce to the ropes from Joe Murphy. Sahara so Just a two count. Oh, ripping at the face of Big Bro Hemoth is Paris. Now, Paris had a quite impressive match at Enjoy Odyssey against Sunny Kiss. That's something you could check out. Yes, so check out Enjoy Odyssey live on the Enjoy Wrestling cha YouTube channel. Switch between us tonight. They're on right now. <laughs> that is true. They are premiering more matches tonight, which you can check out right as soon as Thursday Night Fights is completed for the night. Buddies Incorporated trying to double team Bro Hema, sending him off the ropes. Oh, that's oh. not going to work for me, Kyle. Oh, what a. Oh. There we go. Big Bowser on attack. Oh, double team maneuver having John DDT Joe in the cover. Two. Oh, just a two count there, Tatiana. Bro in Paris breaking up the count, but what a maneuver from Bro Hemoth using John to DDT Joe. Absolutely delightful to see that double oh, team converted. Big Inzi from, from Paris Sahara, though, gets the gigabyte down to one knee. Buddies Incorporated. Eh. Buddies Incorporated still legal right now. Paris Sahara tagging herself back in, though. Yeah, Buddies Incorporated really sharking around the big bro Hemoth, and Paris seems to be directing traffic in there. Sounds about right, if yeah, I'm being honest. Right. Oh. oh, big tornado DDT from the Ebony Sensation in the cover. Two. Oh, and a I kick out. Got a good response from the crowd. The crowd firmly behind Brohemoth. Some guy named John in Paris Sahara now trying to double team Brohemoth, getting him on the ropes. Let's see what these two oh. have planned. This uh, is Amanda again. Amanda choking Brohemoth out again. Hanging him out like a clothesline here. Oh. And Joe Murphy trying to assist with a double team on the ropes maneuver. Two, oh. No dice. Rohim is still going. I see a, a, a little bit of a theme tonight. All the bad boys showing up fighting in jeans this evening. We had Frank in jeans. We had Gianni in jeans. And now we got the gentrifier, some guy named John in jeans. <laughs> Banning jeans from 880 Wrestling from here on out. Well, we can't do that because there are a few cool cats that wrestle in jeans. Most people with... Oh, most, oh and a big head knock from Rohemoth. Oh! Big double German from Rohemoth. Two buddies incorporated, and those two are down. Here comes Paris. Duck oh. under the Inziguri. Oh, God, plants her on her face. Paris tried the same trick twice, and it just didn't land. Oh. John's down. Oh. Joe's down. Hey, if anything, this is perfect situation for Bro to get some his strength up for tomorrow night's Family Ties Part 2, one-on-one -on -one with Zeke Mercer. Bro getting that crowd hyped up. Looks like he's got his fire back. Ooh. Runaway train never coming back. Back-to-back -back splashes to the corners. Stack them up, bro. Love seeing this. Oh. Ooh. Big running forearm to the corner. Are we going to throw Paris on the stack as well? Yes, we are. Hey, in Pittsburgh, we have a special sandwich called the Permanti Sandwich. You're seeing the 880 wrestling version right here. Oh, no coleslaw. Up. Oh, Samoan drop. Let's see if this will be enough. Well, oh, sure. Well, Joe sure. Murphy breaking up the pin. Paris Sahara wisely got out of the way of that big splash from Brohemoth, but walked into a Samoan drop. Now the numbers game has prevailed again over the Gigabyte Grizzly. Bro, Hemoth could have won this match several times if it was one-on-one -on -one against either of the, all three of these folks. I gotta admit, as much as I hate to say it, it was a smart move on the yeah. part of Amanda Maslow to make this a handicap competition rather than a regular one. It's still to be determined who will walk away with the match stipulation in this match, but That's right. this has certainly become a challenge for Bro, Hemoth. Duck under there, rip cord. Oh, headbutt to the chest. That'll stop your heart. Bounce against the ropes. Oh, black hole slam. Oh, here we go again, 
Tatiana, look at this. <laughs> this time, Paris Sahara distracting George Ross with, by saying there's something wrong with her knee. Uh, well, there's something wrong with my knee, too, but you don't see me crying about it. Uh -oh. at, least, at least too much. Some guy named John managed to get a chair out into the ring, and Murphy's got it. Oh, oh. blocking the chair. Oh, oh. gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, a low blow. blow. From that <sighs> damn gentrifier, John. Oh, oh, no, not this. Pedigree. Joe Murphy with a pedigree to Brohemoth after a distraction and a low blow. Tagging in Paris Sahara. Not like this. Come on, not like this. No. Not the way we wanted to see that contest end, but if we mentioned before, how many times did Brohemoth had the victory? Three on one, it's hard to go against those odds. And for tomorrow night, Zeke Mercer will choose the stipulation. I love your work. Oh, wait a second. You're so like beautiful. He might be, they may be here to do it already. They are down here. Fitting they didn't even wrestle tonight. Well, hello, friends. I'm your pal in the mainstream media. And, and I'm the Riz. And, and you know, much. Riz, it takes years of strenuous, dedicated training before you're worthy to step inside a professional wrestling ring. But it takes even more time to develop complex, highly astute opinions about professional wrestling. Am I right? That is correct. Yes. And you know where we can find that? Yes. On the wrestling man. That's right. 